guys, welcome or welcome back to Sissy Spaces. In today's video, we're sharing the full reveal of our primary bathroom remodel. I'm so excited because we went from a dark, outdated bathroom to a bright and modern retreat. I'm also sharing a breakdown of the costs, the six-week timeline, and of course, issues we encountered along the way. To start, we vetted several contractors and chose a local small business with over 32 years experience. Once the contractor was reviewed and approved, we chose our floor and wall tiles from Floor Decor and our fixtures from Bill.com and Home Depot. And in case you're interested, I'll do my best to link all products, but would also mention them throughout the video. Once our products arrived, it was go time and on demo day, we packed up and said goodbye to our old bathroom, but we also used clear plastic storage containers, which made unpacking the items and storing them back in the linen closet in vanity a breeze. The demo team moved quickly, covering the bedroom and closet with plastic drop cloths to protect them from the dust and debris. And by noon, 90% of the bathroom was demoed, and at 7 p.m. that same day, demo was complete. The contractor did share some of the issues he noticed from the old bathroom such as poor insulation, rotted wood, water leakage, and plumbing issues. A few days later, the contractor returned to jackhammer below the concrete, under the tub and shower, in order to gain better access to the plumbing, but also to prepare for the seamless entry shower and freestanding tub requested. To speed up the process, I again covered our bedroom and closet items and continued to do so for the next three weeks. And once the lines were capped off and the curing of the concrete was complete, the plumber and contractor returned to install plumbing for the new body sprays in the shower and move plumbing for the rerouting of the vanities and freestanding tub. After waterproofing and new sheetrock, the bathroom began to come together with the installation of the floor tiles. I also wanted to reuse the old vanities, but requested that they be stripped of the dark walnut stain and restained with the clear water-based polyurethane. And I was asked to choose a different floor tile for the shower. I originally requested a seamless look in the shower using the same floor tile throughout, but the large 12 by 24 tiles require additional time and planning to cut, so I made another trip to Floor Decor to pick the new shower floor tile so as not to slow down the installation process. After the installation of the vanities, it was time to pick the countertops. I chose a standard polished white quartz with gold veins, which complements the vanities and wall tiles. And while waiting for the countertops to arrive, I also decided to reuse our old mirrors and vanity lights. Once painting was complete, I removed the plastic drop cloths from my bedroom and closet for the last time and couldn't be happier. Also, the countertops arrived quickly and the installation was just as fast, but the installer was confused when asked to cut around the outlet and notched out a segment of the quartz instead. But once the contractor was informed, the issue was resolved within a few days. Six days later, the plumber returned to install the tub shower fixtures and faucets, as well as the toilet, which meant hubby and I no longer needed to make that long trip across the family room in the middle of the night to use the half bath. Also, later that day, I noticed the loose caps around the body sprays, but again, whilst the contractor was informed, the issue was resolved within a few days. <laughs> To prepare for the new glass shower doors, which are scheduled for install this week, I cleaned the new bathroom from top to bottom 
ensuring to clean the shower area thoroughly before the installation. We ordered taller and wider shower doors in order to accommodate a future wheelchair if needed. By the way, for those that are new to my channel, Hubby and I decided to age in place and needed to update the bathroom in order to add a seamless entry shower. This home is also paid for, so purchasing a new home wasn't in the budget. And being a military family, Hubby was tired of moving. Along with a seamless entry shower and a taller and wider glass shower doors, we opted for a pull-down shower bar as well as body sprays. And we replaced the wood moldings with tile outside of the shower and around Hubby's vanity. We are not tub people, but decided to add a freestanding tub for future resale value and centered my vanity under the mirror, choosing to keep the drawers for additional storage versus having a sitting area. In case I'm unable to link some of the products, the 12 by 24 Iceland white porcelain wall tile is priced at $266 per square foot. The 3 by 6 Ocean Home marble tile, which is the multicolored wall tile, is $608 per square foot. The polished marble trim pieces are $699 a piece, the Marble Coastal Ivory Blend Hexagon Shaped Shower Floor Tiles are $12.99 a piece. The Concept Gray Ceramic Floor Tile are priced at $2.99 per square foot. The 51 inch acrylic flat bottom freestanding soaking tub with the pop up drain in the color glossy white was on sale at that time that I ordered it and with my military discount was under $700. By the way, I did order an oil rub bronze pop-up drain, but it didn't fit. So we used the same as the old one that came with it. In the Delta, shower fixture with a pull-down sprayer and three body sprays was on sale as well at that time and was less than $1,000 on the Bill.com website. Once the decision was made to keep our old mirrors, we swapped the mirror from the closet with this one and place the one that was originally over this vanity in the closet. We also removed the towel bars and opted to use disposable face towels instead. These disposable face towels are from the Clean Skin Club and you can order them from Amazon or pick them up from Walmart. The contractor replaced our faucets for free and went the extra mile by hanging additional mirrors and changing the placement of items upon request. He also was on site as products were installed and I could reach him on his personal cell or call or email the office. I highly recommend the Atlanta Builders and Remodelers Inc. and will link their info in my description box. chose to use a damp microfiber cloth to clean these quartz countertops and cabinets because again they haven't been used but have dust and bits of debris caused by the insulation of the faucets and removal of the towel bars and while cleaning I received the message from the contractor that the shower doors have been delayed by one day because of the shipping delay of the shower glass but surprisingly I was okay with that because I could spend that extra day shopping for towels and Christmas decor. I chose to vacuum the floors today, but we'll hold off on mopping them until after the shower doors are installed. I also realized as I was vacuuming the floors that I will definitely regret using white grout versus a gray grout that matched the tiles. But I chose the white grout because the white grout gives it a brighter and cleaner look. And that was one of the reasons why I was adamant about the contractor applying a sealant over the grout lines within 24 hours after installation. And once done vacuuming, I decided to make a quick trip to Target to choose the color of our new towels. When 
When choosing the colors of our towels, I wanted a color that would complement the multicolored wall and shower floor tiles. Hubby didn't want white towels, so after placing all three of the different colors on the tub and comparing them to the wall and floor tiles, I felt the beige Casaluna bath towel was a better choice and decided that tomorrow I would return to pick up six of the bath towels, washcloths, and face towels that will be used in the half bath and four bath mats. It's the next day, and before returning to Target to pick up the towels, I decided to clean and tidy our walk-in closet. During the bathroom remodel, we did cover all items for three weeks, and once uncovered, I cleaned the walk-in closet from top to bottom. So today's clean and tidy will be a quick one. By the way, the mirror in here was originally over my vanity, but as I mentioned earlier, we did swap it with the one that's currently over my vanity. Also, the contractor returned the next day to hang the mirror as well as patch and paint any imperfections found. While dusting, I was also thinking of what decor I would use in our newly remodeled bathroom. So I settled on Christmas decor because I do plan to decorate for Christmas next week. So I decided once I returned to Target, I would look at some of their new Christmas decor as well as shop for Christmas decor at Michael's, Home Goods, Joann's Fabrics, and of course Walmart. As Walmart has some of the best Christmas decor this year and you can't beat their prices. Once done vacuuming these floors, I did return to Target, but unfortunately there were only four of the Casaluna bath towels on the shelf, and there wasn't any matching face towels, washcloths, or bath mats available. I also checked the website, and they were out of stock as well. As such, I stopped at Walmart and picked up matching towels, washcloths, and bath mats at a much lower price than the Casaluna brand, and I washed folded and stored them away on this day. As you can see, Max is still experiencing joint pain and unfortunately, he's still on his meds. It breaks my heart to see him like this and the family and I are doing what we can to make him as comfortable as possible. He's still able to jump on the couch and run around outside, but I notice at times he does walk slowly and sleeps a lot, but that could also be because of the mess he's taking. these towels for the first time, I'm still using my favorite powdered detergent, which is the Moonlight Breeze Scented Gain Detergent, as well as Borax and White Distilled Vinegar that I place in my fabric softener and bleach tray. I would have also used a half a cup of the Moonlight Breeze Scented Firework Beads, but used the last of it on the whites I placed in the wash earlier today. And as I was placing the first load of new towels in the wash, my Amazon package arrived with another product for our newly remodeled bathroom. By the way, I also ordered some Christmas decor from Amazon as well as these clear bottles with caps to store our body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. I do plan to share and fill the new bottles with you today but we'll hold off on sharing the Christmas decor haul until my next video. We did very well on our budget for the new bathroom remodel, so I was able to pick up some Christmas decor from several locations. So if you're not already subscribed, please do so, so you don't miss the Christmas decor haul, as well as future Christmas decorating videos. Walmart, I was able to pick up 18 towels and washcloths, as well as four bath mats for under $70. These are the mainstays, which are the Walmart brand of washcloths and towels, 
and our label that's 100% cotton. We have used them since this video aired and they are soft, but not as soft as the Nate Burkitt's brand of towels that are no longer sold at Target. I figured we'll use them until I can find a more reasonably priced, much softer, but similar in color towels earlier this year and we'll use these as future guest towels. Again, I did break these towels up into two loads, so the bath mats and remaining washcloths are in the dryer. And once done folding these towels, we'll prep our washer for tomorrow by removing and drying out the dispenser tray, as well as drying the door to the washer the rubber gasket around the drum and we'll leave the door slightly ajar so that the residual water that's left in the drum can evaporate overnight. By taking the time to do this, after the last load, I can honestly say I've never had a problem with odors or mold in my washer. While prepping the washer, I received a confirmation email that the shower doors will arrive tomorrow, which is Halloween by the way, between 9 and 11. So that means I can have plenty of time to prep for our annual Halloween festivities and assemble our traditional goodie bags for all of my nieces and nephews. The next day and as you can see the frameless glass shower doors arrived we ordered the taller doors which are 96 inches in height versus the standard height of 72. we also ordered a wider door at 36 inches versus the standard door of 22 inches and it was very important that the shower doors were water resistant a half an inch in thickness and have a low iron glass which means it's much clearer than a regular glass It's the next day and I'm still recuperating from our Halloween festivities. But here, I'm washing my hands after vacuuming and mopping these floors. And once done removing the trash, we'll add some decor to this newly remodeled bathroom. Then look at some before and after videos. I did spend much of this morning deciding where to place Christmas decor as well as what Christmas decor to use, and settled on keeping it minimal, simple, and neutral. Also, I forgot to mention that the contractor did hang the mirror in the closet, as well as hung the old clock we used in this bathroom in our bedroom. these towels yesterday but toss them in the dryer again this morning to remove some of the wrinkles but as you can see some are still there but it does look a lot better than it did yesterday also this tray is a home goods find from years ago the ceramic vase is from walmart and the stems and pine cones are from michael's but i also added a pine cone pick from hobby lobby but you can also find them at walmart I knew I wanted some form of seating in this bathroom, but didn't want anything light in color that would clash with the vanity. So I opted to use the bench from our closet, which worked perfectly. This frame is from Target, the Christmas artwork is from Amazon, and the Christmas tree is from Joanne's Fabric. The bath mat is from Walmart, the Christmas tree is from Target two years ago, and the nutcracker is from Pop Shop.
If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching Sissy Spaces. And if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit that like, subscribe button, and share this channel with your family and friends. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.